Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a knitter and maker living in Seattle, Washington. Um, and today I want to, on this very rainy, <laughs> dreary gray day, I want to talk to you a little bit about spring and summer knitting patterns. We had beautiful weather yesterday and the cherry blossoms are blooming and the daffodils are peeking up. So spring is here. Um, in Seattle, it's a little bit rainy and soggy, but the sun is coming. We had a lovely day yesterday. I laid out in the, outside in the sun for just like hours and knitted and enjoyed the sun while I had it. Um, and I'm just feeling more inspired to think about spring and summer knitwear um, moving over the next couple months. So I pulled together a little roundup of 20 spring and summer knitting patterns that I have my eye on. So, or that I wanted to recommend to you or just suggest to you. Um, a couple of them I've knit before, some of them I have on my needles now, um, and some of them are gonna be future cast-ons or just ideas of things that I think would be lovely for our spring, summer this year. So yeah, that's basically what we're gonna do today. Um, I'm just gonna talk you through these different patterns. They're not organized in any particular order or there's not really a rhyme or reason to the list that we're going through, but these are just patterns that I really like the look of and have in my favorites or that I plan to make um, this summer or future summers. So yeah. Um, okay. So mostly I feel like what we're going to be talking about is tops because that's the easiest thing, but there are some other kinds of patterns sprinkled through. So the first pattern I wanted to mention is the Miles Tea by Ozetta. Um, I have made several Ozetta patterns before and really enjoy her design style. It's very simple and crisp, but like really just like well executed with very beautiful details. So the Miles T um, has this really lovely kind of lace motif on the back. It's a drop shoulder design, uh, short sleeve t-shirt, and it has this lace motif on the increases on the back. And then it has the signature curved hem. She also has the Miles jacket, which has the same detailed design but it's like this, the kind of curved hem that you would see on like a tailored button shirt where it kind of dips in the front and in the back and then comes up on the sides. Um, and I just think it's really lovely. I think this pattern came out last summer and it's a great staple. I love the shaping, the details. Um, there are so many beautiful versions of it on Ravelry and Instagram. And I think this is a really lovely top. That would be a great, especially kind of transitional spring and fall piece because you could wear it um, like under a cardigan or it feels like it would look work really well for layering. So definitely think this is a gorgeous top and I've definitely considered making it before and casting it on. I've had my eye on it since it came out. Um, the next pattern I wanted to talk about is a little pair of shorts. I feel like the knitted shorts trend kind of popped up last summer. I was seeing them a lot. Um, Laura from Penrose Knits made the Hemingway shorts by um, I don't remember her name, but she made the Hemingway shorts and then Kat Weaver made the, made also made a kind of like a longer pair of shorts. And I've just, I made a little pair of baby shorts for my, my new niece and really enjoyed knitting them and really liked the yarn that I used with them and thought it would be really fun to make myself a pair of kind of like lounge wear or like beach shorts in the same kind of, like a very lovely drapey, silky, cottony yarn for those super, super hot summer days. We don't have air conditioning here in our house in Seattle because it doesn't get super hot, but on the days that it does, a lovely pair of flowy shorts I think would be wonderful. So this first pair is the Light Summer Shorts by Holly C. Watson. Um, they're really cute. I feel like people you have knit them in lots of different lengths. They're um, fastened at the waist with a drawstring and just kind of have like a plain stockinette rolled hem at the bottom. So you leave it raw and then it kind of rolls up on itself. I think they're so cute. You can knit them to whatever length you're comfortable with. I believe they're knit top down. There's a lot of ways to make it customizable to you. And I just think they're really cute and would love to make a pair of them myself. And then another pair of shorts that I had found that I really like is um, the shorts Lal, L-A-L which is from Pasquale, which is a yarn brand, but they put out this pair of shorts that kind of have a similar vibe, like just that very loose, flowy, they're high-waisted, so I think they have some shaping to make them fit nicely. These have a ribbed hem at the bottom, um, but that same kind of eye cord detailing around the waist, that's super cute, and they just look so flowy and lovely and comfortable, and I think they would be, some people, oh, they have a texture on them. 
They have this kind of like pearl bump texture on them that's really pretty that kind of makes them a little bit more than just plain stockinette, which make them probably a little bit more interesting to work, um, to knit up. So I think this is a lovely pair as well of shorts. If you like me are interested in a lovely pair of knitted shorts this summer. Um, okay, back to the tops. The next one I want to recommend to you because I've made this before, um, and it's the Rib Lace Raglan by James N. Watts. Um, I made this last summer. Here is my version. I made mine in a linen, silk, and alpaca blend. So not like maybe your traditional summer yarn, um, but it's so lacy and like lightweight that I think it works really well for the summertime. I made this with two skeins of DK weight yarn. The pattern calls for fingering, but at a like kind of a looser gauge. So I just substituted DK so it wouldn't be quite so sheer. Um, but I really like this top. They're, it's very simple. There's no short rows or anything, but I don't find that there's a problem with the neck when I'm wearing it. And I just love kind of the simplicity of the design. It all, honestly it reminds me a lot of Ann Venzel's new design, the Shore Tee, um, which is kind of the same like stockinette rib with um, the, the simple lace motif, which um, the only thing is that Ann Venzel, she makes beautiful patterns, but they're not the most size inclusive. So if you're looking for kind of a similar look with a more size inclusive pattern, I think this is a great option. If you wanted those wider stockinette sections, like in the short tee, you could just kind of alter the pattern a little bit to make the stockinette bands on this wider, but I just think it's a lovely t-shirt. It's very cozy, but if, especially with the yarn that I used, it turned out really drapey. It hangs super nicely. It's very customizable, very simple, especially for lace. It's like a really good beginner lace pattern. Um, there's also a long sleeve version, which I think could be nice if you live in a kind of like a cooler climate like I do, where you can get the breeziness, but have a little bit more like breeziness during the day and then some warmth at night or something. There's so many beautiful versions and so many different yarns. And I just think this is a great pattern. I would definitely make another one um, at some point in the future because I think it's quite lovely. So that's the Rib Lace Raglan by James and Watts. Highly recommend um, for this upcoming season. Okay, next up is something kind of on that same vein of like cool in the daytime, a little bit of warmth in the evening. This is the Summer Twin Set by Ivana Sturm, which I just think is so cute. It's a pattern for a tank and then a matching cardigan that go with it to make this really cute um, summer set. The tank is kind of like higher in the neck, so there's a little bit more coverage if that's what you're into. And then the cardigan is just very simple but very loose. I love how you kind of get these two-in-ones and you get this really cute matching set. Um, and it's in like a, at a slightly larger gauge, so there would be still a lot of like room for air to move through, but keep you a little bit warmer in the eve. If you're going somewhere or live somewhere that has kind of cooler nighttime temperatures. So I think this is so cute. I've had it in my saved for a while. Um, I just think it would be good. It's like a great two-in-one. So. Yeah, that's the Summer Twin Set by Ivana Sturm. Um, next up is another pattern I've had in my favorites for ages. This is the Bubble Button Blouse by Nina Ruth. Um, it's very cute. Like, it's got a lot of volume in the sleeves and around the neck. I mean, the, the name I think is really good. It's got that, like, kind of bubble motif or bubble silhouette. Um, so, again, like, super loose and flowy. I like the little buttons down the front, the eye cord. I think it just looks so sweet and pretty in all of the photos. All the versions that I see, I think it would, it's great for wearing like with a pair of shorts or jeans. I also see a lot of people wearing it with like a dress. It seems very versatile and cute. Um, and definitely something that I've wanted to cast on for a long time now. I don't think I have the perfect yarn for this in my stash right now, but I'm still, it's in my queue, maybe at the bottom of my queue, but something that I definitely want to make at some point. I think it's darling. Um, I'm very on trend with like the kind of girly voluminous sleeves and everything. I like it a lot. So that's the Bubble Blouse by Nina Ruth. Um, next up is one that I almost knit last summer and then changed my mind and it's something else, but I really still like this top a lot. This is the Palm Tee by Lena Holmes Samsa, um, who you may know for her. She has a kind of similar top to this called the Peacock Tee. It's got this beautiful lace yoke and then a stockinette body. Um, but I just love this kind of really beautiful feathery lace motif and this palm top. Um, I think it's so pretty and so delicate and the color that she uses, it just like fits really well. There's so many beautiful versions on Ravelry. I think this would also be a good like maybe beginner lace project because it's only in the yoke and so you're not like having to chart the whole thing. 
I don't know, I just think this is gorgeous. Um, and I would love to make this again someday in the future. I think my mom would also really like this pattern, but I think it's lovely and beautiful. And she makes so many great patterns and lace motifs, and this is definitely no exception. All right, next up is something that I have already cast on for my spring summer season. And that is the Sunday Tea by Petite Knit. So it's the kind of, you may be familiar with, it's the kind of one that has like the sunburst yoke motif. Um, and I've cast mine on, not made a ton of progress, but I've cast mine on already. Um, it has a beautiful folded neckband and I've just started the first kind of round of section of the yoke. And I'm using, um, what's this called? Pearl Soho Linen Quill for mine. This is the color Rosewood Pink. Uh, this yarn is wool, alpaca, and linen, which may, again, may not be like the most traditional summer yarn, but I think the linen will help lighten it up again a lot. Wool is breathable. And again, I live somewhere that's not particularly warm all the time. <laughs> like I was basking in the sun yesterday and I realized that it was only like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so not very warm, but the sunshine felt amazing. But anyway, what I'm saying is that like a little bit of a warmer fiber, I don't think would be is the, is the wrong choice for me for this pattern. Um, I love, I mean, it's knit on these tiny little needles, three millimeter needles, kind of a tight gauge, but I think it's gonna be beautiful when it's done. The color I think will lend really well to spring, summer. Um, and then it would be a great blaring piece, I feel like for fall as well, like either wearing under another piece of knitwear or I don't know. I just am really excited about this top. I've had it my eye on it for a really long time and I'm really excited to keep knitting on this. I have a project that I'm wrapping up now and then I'm gonna probably dedicate a lot more time to this because I think it's just beautiful and I'm so excited to have it. I love the color. Um, there are lots of people that have made white ones that I think they look beautiful. I feel like this is kind of like a, almost a more elevated um, top with the finishes are very like professional and clean looking. And it's just, it looks very chic and put together, which is Petite Knit's kind of whole thing. But I, I'm really excited to keep working on this top and hopefully have a version to wear in the next couple of weeks or months. Okay, next up is another Ozetta pattern. This is the Harvest Tea, um, which is very, very simple, but I just think there's something about it that is very interesting. It's a, just a very simple drop shoulder top um, mostly in stockinette, but it has kind of like this really high neck and all of the hem details are that same kind of like rolled stockinette where you just cast off and it kind of gently rolls up on itself. Um, and this just seems like the perfect staple top. Like you could knit it in a cotton to be super breezy. You could knit it in like a cotton wool blend to be more transitional. It's oversized, so there's a lot of breathability there. It just seems so versatile. I mean, it's very simple, but again, with Ozetta, her patterns are very simple, but very effective, I would say. Um, and this is no exception. I've definitely thought about casting this on. I have some yarn in my stash that I was planning to cast onto this, and then I found another pattern that I'll talk to you about in a minute. But I think this is really stunning and definitely not one to be overlooked. Um, there are lots of people out there that love endless stockinette, and this would be a great one for you for the summertime because it's on a very fine yarn with very little needles, but um, I think it would, again, kind of like the Sunday tea give you like, it's a little bit, I feel like it's almost like a more relaxed version of the Sunday tea where the Sunday tea is kind of like very chic and elevated. And this is just like a little bit more relaxed, but still has those very elevated details. So that's the harvest tea by Ozetta. Um, okay. Next up, I want to take a brief intermission from tops to talk about a little bag. I have a couple summer bags in here. Um, and this is one that I've made before and really like. This is the Dumpling Bag by Pearl Soho, which is a free pattern. Um, and I made mine out of a 100% cotton yarn, which I think actually works really well for this. The original is made in a linen, but those kind of like stiffer summery fibers, I think work really well for this because they hold the structure of the bag really well. Um, it's kind of a small bag, like, I would think of it as like a small project bag. Like if you were gonna do, you could do like a sock project. Here, I'll show you. You don't have to use it for a project bag, but this is generally how I ended up end up using it. Like my one ball of 100 gram fingering weight yarn and my Sunday D project fits in here really well. Um, and there's room for more, like this holds more than it looks like. Um, but it would be very easy to modify into a larger bag if you were interested. Um, but yeah, I think it's great. It fits right over your wrist and you can carry it. Um, this could be good for like an evening bag if you did it like in a fancy or just like a, I don't know, 
I think you could work really well for like a vacation bag. Like if you're going out to dinner on a vacation and you really just want to carry like your phone and your wallet um, and your knitting, obviously, this could be a great option. I think it's lovely. It's very versatile. It's very quick. I knit this up in like 24 hours over a weekend one um, back in the fall, but I really like it and I think it's a good summer bag. So definitely recommend the dumpling bag by Pearl Soho. Okay, next up we have some tanks that I think are lovely. Back to kind of like the simple but effective um, theme. This is the Thea Top by Suzanne Muller. And I just, I don't, I've had my eye on this top for a really long time. There's something about it that I just love. I really love the shape and the depth of the neckline. I just think it's like the perfect scoop. Um, the thickness of the straps I really like. There's just, I mean, it's there are so many tops in the world, like tank tops in the world, but this one I just keep coming back to because I think it's so lovely. This, like, again, the scoop is perfect on the neck. It's like exactly what I would want on a knitted t-shirt. Um, it's so beautiful. The way she styles it is great. There are lots of versions of this on Ravelry as well to check out in all different colors. So you could do like a fun hand dyed version for more of a statement piece or like the the sample kind of a more muted understated version that would be really good and versatile in all different lots of different outfits and again for layering if you like wore it under a larger sweater in the transitional times of year I just think this is really beautiful it's also knit at like a slightly heavier gauge kind of like a DK to worsted gauge it's knit with Senna Lena at like a 20 stitch gauge so not quite as light and <laughs> long of a project as something like the Sunday tea or the harvest tea or even the miles tea um, this would knit up a little bit faster. Again, you're also not knitting sleeves. So I think this could be a really fun and quick piece. You could style in a lot of different ways. Um, and then this other tank I really like kind of, it's also simple, but it has more of those fun design details. This is the Snakes and Ladders tank by Andrea Chang. I think it's a relative, oh no, it came out last summer. Um, and I, it's just like a plain kind of high neck, almost not like a halter neck, but you know, that kind of high neck tank style, but it has these little pearl kind of strips on it that give it a little bit of texture, excuse me, a little bit of texture and make it just kind of more visually interesting than a plain top. I think again, the shape on this is really nice. The high neck and like the kind of wide or like the high neck with the, I don't know, you know, that, that shape that's really nice, the, the kind of cut out here on the arms that gives a little bit more space for breathing, a little bit more room in the armpit, um, but a little bit of like chest coverage if that's something you're concerned about. I think this is just a really beautiful top. There's again, lots and lots of versions, lots of recommended yarn. It's knit at quite a loose gauge. It's a DK weight yarn knit at like a 15.5 centimeter gauge. So I think it would also knit up really quickly. Lots of versions of yarn you could use. I think it's great. And definitely something that I would love to work on in the future. Okay, back to tops. This is the, next up is the Desert Bloom Top by Rachel Kurahara. This is a really beautiful kind of, again, simple, but with cool details top. It's a raglan faux wrap top with this beautiful little peplum ruffle at the bottom. I think it's so cute. Um, kind of like a little bit more girly. And again, could be like a nice evening summer top with like a nice cool pair of pants or a pretty skirt. Um, I just think it's lovely. There's again, lots of cute versions on Ravelry. There's people who have done it in hand dyed. People have done it in just kind of simple plain yarns. I think it's great. And the faux wrap can kind of make it versatile for people of different chest sizes. And like you can make it work with your body, which I think is really pretty. You could also probably adjust where the peplum falls to work better for your body. So I think it's a really pretty pattern. That would be super fun. Little girly top. Okay. Next up is the Gaia, is, it's just called Gaia, but it's a top by Morissette C. Um, and this kind of reminds me of the Anchor Tee by Petite Knit, but a little bit different. Maybe if you're looking to support some smaller designers this year, um, it has a similar vibe to the Anchor Tee where it has those kind of like textured yoke circular sections. So there's like a stockinette section and then this stitch motif that I don't even know, I think it's like a double knit, but from the wrong side motif so it looks like that's what it looks like to me with some kind of slipped stitch detail on the body um and these kind of rounds uh that i think is so pretty and very unique it's not like a texture i've seen a lot of other places where you do that slip stitch on the outside 
Um, it's almost like if you're doing slip stitch on a heel of a sock, but the in the pearl, like the the slipped stitches, the like floats from the slip stitches are on the front. I think it's a very pretty, very interesting um, kind of take on that circular yoke top. Um, and there's some versions where people have done it striped or where they've done the kind of like slipped section in a contrasting color that I think are really cool. I just think it's, this is another great option if you're looking for that kind of circular yoke, but something a little bit different or maybe a new technique you haven't tried before. So again, that's the Gaia by Morissette C. This um, next pattern just barely came out, but it is like sitting at the forefront of my mind and I'm so excited to cast it on like ASAP. This is the Tied Loop Tee by Other Loops. Um, and I'm so excited about it. I have the perfect yarn for it in my stash already. Um, this top is inspired on Instagram. I saw the designer talking about how it's kind of inspired by the way that the sand looks under the water, like on the beach, how it gets the kind of ridges in it. And I think she captured that texture so beautifully in this fabric. And it's like, you can immediately tell that's what she was inspired by. Um, and I have a yarn in my stash that's kind of a similar sandy color to this. Um, and I'm just really, really excited to cast this on. I think I'll cast it on once I finish my Sunday tea, but I think it's so beautiful and I really want to make it, um, it's a brand new pattern that just came out. So I'm really excited and there's no, there's not a lot of photos of it. Um, but I think it's great. I also love the sleeve length on this. I really like kind of that with a bigger oversized fit, the longer sleeve as well, kind of bounces, balances out the proportions a little bit in a nice way. And then just like the really thin rib. I like a chunky rib, but I think for like lighter weight pieces, the thing, the thin rib just works perfectly. And then the rolled hems on the sleeves in the bottom, I think is really great. So I'm very excited to cast this on. Stay tuned because I will be making it this year. I'm very excited about it and I can't wait to share it with you. Um, and then next up, something that I'm, another new post that I think is beautiful or another like brand new pattern. I'm not even sure that this is out yet. Um, in anything but Danish, this is the Barbro top by Knitting for Olive, which is a really, another really beautiful lace pattern. And I believe that Knitting for Olive has a couple patterns with this lace motif before. I think they have like a long sleeve top and maybe a kid's dress, but this is a tank version. And I think it's so beautiful. I love, again, I feel like with tanks, there's a lot, you have to be, because they're so little, like the details have to be perfect. Again, the scoop on the neck is really great. The thickness of the straps is really great. Maybe it's just that it fits this model really well, but I just think this top is really gorgeous. Um, and it's kind of more of like, a, if you wanna go for like a more sexy kind of look with your summertime outfit. Um, it's like almost in the mesh trend that we've seen a lot, but not quite, cause it's lacy, but the holes kind of give it the mesh look. It like toes the line between like the mesh and the lace. It's very cool, very interesting. Um, okay, next up is another free pattern that I wanted to call to your mind. I'm not sure as much as this is like super summery because it's kind of with a denser fabric, but this is the Charita Top by Marie Wallen for Rowan. Um, and it's kind of this marled stripey top. Um, it's a pretty chunky, like you hold two DK weight strands together. Um, to get a 17 stitch gauge. So I think it could be kind of chunky. So you have to probably choose your yarn carefully if you wanted it to be more of a summer or you just have to live somewhere where like I live where it's just not that hot out and you can tolerate kind of like a thicker, more dense, more like sturdy. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Just like a fabric with a little less drape to it. But this kind of, I think, feel like would play really well into the marly trend that we're seeing a lot of right now. I think the marled stripes are really cool and interesting. You could also do it, or there are people who have done it without the stripes, just like a normal top or just like one color marl. I think this is lovely. I believe it's knit in linen stitch as well. So like a very kind of stiff fabric, but really cool effect with the marling and everything. I've had this, um, pattern in my favorite for a long time and it could also be really good for using up scraps if you have scraps of summer yarn because you're kind of marling these different yarns together to get the stripes and everything okay next up we have back to other loops who is a designer i really like um, this is the twist loop top um, which is the tank top version she has quite a lot of these twists in the twist loop collection which is just has this really pretty intricate cable that just runs down the center of the garments 
Um, but it's basically like a four strand cable and then they like goes for a long time and then crosses over. So it's, it's like a two by two by two ribbing, but then they kind of cross in this cool way. Um, she has this motif on a lot of things, but I think the tank top is really beautiful. It kind of has a similar to silhouette to some of the really popular, my favorite things knitwear tanks, where it has again, that like high neck with kind of the close fitting, like the high cut with the the straps that kind of cut in at the front, which I think is just really flattering on a lot of bodies. Very simple, kind of like an, if you're, again, if you're looking for a smaller designer alternative to something that looks kind of my favorite thing is knitwear-esque. I think this is a really great option. The way she has it styled is beautiful with the trousers again. Um, this I think is a little bit more chic and a little bit more structured, but very beautiful and would be lovely. Um, summertime and probably also could transition really well into fall. I don't know if it's just me, but I, the cables are like a fall thing for me. So I think this could be a really nice like late summer, early fall transitional piece. Okay, rounding things out, we have a dress. This is the Singing Knit Dress by Renata Zidataya. I, that, that's not how you say that name, but that's the best I could do. And I wanted to have a dress in here because I think a lovely knitted summer dress is just fun and it could be like your all summer long project or like anticipating summer project. I like this one because it has like a lot of the fluttery ruffles and the sleeves and kind of that bottom tier of the skirt and then the button panel. I'm not sure if it's an actual button panel or if it's a faux button panel but it's very cute. Um, there's some versions like you can make this into a top or extend it into a dress. I think the pattern is probably very versatile, very pretty. You could use any kind of yarn. If you didn't want it to be summery, you could probably do it in a wool, but any kind of like cotton, linen, rayon blend would be wonderful for this. Anything light and flowy, I think this would be great for like really, really hot times of year if you made it like in 100% cotton or a cotton linen blend. Because <clears throat> there's just so much, like it's very loose and flowy and the cotton will kind of be very breathable. I think this is a really cute option um, if you're looking for a little fun little summer dress. And then the last pattern I wanted to mention is another bag. This is the Simple Knit Tote by Pearl Soho. It's also knit in linen stitch, so it has a lot of good structure to it. That linen stitch is kind of like a pretty, it doesn't have a lot of give. Um, and I just like the silhouette of the bag with the really wide strap. And then the, it's kind of like a grocery tote, like a tote, I mean, it is a tote bag, but like a, you know what I mean? Like a canvas tote bag kind of shape um, and thickness but maybe with a little bit more wiggle than a canvas. Um, anyway, I think it's beautiful. You could do it with the scrap yarns. You could do kind of a similar model to the Marie Wallen to get this effect. I don't know. I think it's beautiful, very cute, very like versatile, not just summer, but could be a really great beach bag. Um, so yeah, that's the simple knit tote by Pearl Soho. So that is my little summer, spring summer pattern roundup. I think there's a lot of gems in there and definitely some things that I will be knitting over the next couple of months. So if you'd like to see some of those patterns in action, please subscribe and stay tuned for some of my future videos. Um, and that is it for today. So thank you all so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you very soon.